Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stain Gamers, and welcome. So today we've got another beautiful ship from the Steam Workshop. Now here in front of me is the Star Core Exploration Vessel. Now this is being created by Nika, and it's a perfect example of both design and functionality. It has some really cool features of this ship, as well as having these really unique sort of design lines to it. So first up, let's have a look at the front of the ship. We'll work our way to the rear, and then we'll pop inside to see what it holds. So first off, the thing I noticed was its really thin silhouette. From the side, this is going to make it a much harder target. So you can see the silhouette there of the ship is probably about five or six blocks high. That's going to make it much more difficult to target with a larger rocket battery, causing a lot of the rockets to either miss or they'll be impacting the same particular area. Now, if we go around the front here, you'll notice that we've got this glass cockpit, that's the main command room, tucked underneath here on the belly side of the ship. Very cool indeed. We'll have a look inside, and the detailing on the top has been created in a few different methods here. We don't see too many cut-down blocks. We're seeing more um, two-tone sort of colour shades. You can see we've got the darker colours, the lighter colours, and the whites there to create the detailing, as well as catwater blocks and some blast door blocks there, creating venting and various other patterns around the ship. Really nice indeed. You can definitely see that they know how to contrast the different panels to make the extra detail in. So as we come underneath here, we also have a really nice idea for a bit of armor protection. These thrusters are really well tucked in, so you're not going to lose your side thrusters anytime soon. So we've got the actual catwalk block. Then in front of that, we've also got a blast door block, so that limits the angle that rockets can actually cause damage to them. And that's going to keep you in the fight and keep you maneuverable a lot longer. Now, going underneath, we're going to have a few really cool features. First of all, we have two large thruster sort of sets on either side, as well as this drop down missile turret. That'll have to show you when we get inside. We've also got a variety of other point defenses around the craft, but you can see just the detail in these sections is lovely, as well as some atmospheric thrusters just in case. Now, as we get into this section, you'll notice the ship actually turns into a V-shape. So you've got this V-shape center with these two support beams run down every side. Now, the most important thing to take into consideration here is how they've actually ribbed the detailing on this central control pillar. So we've got each of the catwalk blocks on the center side of the detailing there, and then it is ribbed in the black and white contrast. Really nice indeed, and the thrusters are then laid out down the center. Now, these side parts aren't actually functioning corridors or anything. They are purely just support beams, keeping that central column from being severed in case of emergency. Now, as we proceed around the back, we've actually got ourselves these four thrusters. Now, these four thrusters are really nicely designed. You can see we've got these cool little venting systems on the front here, so there's not actually a functional thrust coming from them, but you've got hydrogen storage in each one of these. That's going to keep the ship going for much, much longer. Some blast protection on the side, as well as a few hydrogen thrusters to keep it propelled. Now, at the rear here, we've also got four more hydrogen thrusters, so each one of these isn't really producing too much thrust because it's kind of resembling the thrust of each of the other cells so together it is a strong thrust pack but as a singular cell it is particularly weak but by spreading these out here it guarantees that the survival of the ship well or survival of its sort of motory system is going to be intact so coming to this section we've got this nice cross sort of section where they all meet up in the center and you have uh, yourself a little door so let's um, spawn the character in and we'll access the ship from the back and we'll go towards the front as we enter into the airlock, hopefully not depressurizing the whole place, we have these really nice little glass areas looking down onto the conveyor components. This is one of them ships where it's a little bit harder to access some of the uh, sort of plumbing of it if there is damage because the corridors can't really tell you where the locations of everything are. So as we continue down this corridor, this is actually the, the central section where that little shaft is and we've got the various computer systems, some more output zones and we've got the doors that lead us up to this section as well so in this section we've got ourselves a small bridge this is the upper sort of command deck you could call it well protected once again you've not got glass roof so you will survive a little bit longer you've got blueprints and layouts of the ship at various points and seats for crew members as you're traveling there's nothing worse than being flung into the back wall of the ship as your captain steps on the gas so as we head into this particular section, we notice in the sort of the detail increases. We've got these various little chairs here that are stuck on little rotors through the floor. Oh, always a little bit janky, these things, but for detailing factors, it is very nice, as well as the med bay listed there. Now, in this section, we actually have the sort of piston pushdown area where the missile turrets will actually pop out and destroy the targets. But let's continue moving 
down to the front of the ship. So this area is a combination of both small and large ship grids. You see this in a lot of cockpits these days. and It just allows you to go that extra bit of detailing when it comes to laying out your cockpit. So you can see the control panels on either side there as well as more readouts for how the ship is actually doing. Just really nice detail. I love these little ribbon areas as well. It just really feels like a bridge and then you've got the main sort of driver's seat I'm guessing here. So the first thing we're going to have a look at is these missile turrets that lower down. So we're going to hit the piston and we're going to activate it with number three. So you can see the missile turret actually lowers down and we should be able to get a volley of fire off like that. So you can see we've got, I think it's five missile launchers going forward. Enough to do some serious damage and of course once the firefight is over you can retract them in. You've also got a beacon on this. Well let's actually have a look at its overall maneuverability. So as you can see, I've got a very nice sort of gyroscopic movement. I can move left and right very easily. And my thrust pack will allow me to accelerate quite quickly. Not as fast as some of the ships of this size. Since it's quite small, you'd expect a little bit better acceleration. But still, you can see how the camera's almost cutting off the rear segment of the vessel. But it just maneuvers and, and looks so nice on the screen. I love a ship that's sort of pleasurable to watch as it moves around in an actual space it'd be great to pilot this with a small crew maybe take on a few other vessels but anyway if you like the look of this check out the link to it in the description below and i will see you next time